At the midpoint on the journey of life, I found myself in a dark forest, for the clear path was lost. The game starts on the, the surface, which is how the poem starts. You know, you're sort of leaping into, into hell. When you jump through that door to follow the devil and your fiance's soul down into the depths of hell, that's the moment where our Alice jumps through the rabbit hole. Whoa, this is unlike anything on Earth, right? It's hell. Divine Comedy was written in the early part of the 1300s um, by a guy named Dante Alighieri. He spends his life uh, dreaming about a woman that he loved named Beatrice who he never got to be with. He writes this poem, which is basically about his journey through the afterlife to get to her. It's the number one thing that Dante Alighieri is remembered for is creating that typical view of hell, uh, the medieval vision that has lasted throughout the ages. Dante essentially introduces the concept of the nine circles of hell. I mean, it lays it out level by level, you know, the punishments of hell and where each sinner goes in hell in these different circles. He's literally like laying out a map of hell. The poem itself was disturbing and it describes the different rings of hell and all this anguish and suffering. And I think that's also one of the most appealing aspects of it. I read the poem and thought right away, like, that's a video game. We can make a video game out of that. Go to hell, that's our game. Simple and it's to the point. Face the ultimate boss, which is Lucifer himself. Once you hear the pitch about what the fiction's going to be, it just instantly makes sense. One of the most important things for us was to literally follow the map of hell that Dante wrote so clearly in the poem. We're not gonna create a circle called jealousy or shoplifting, yeah? We're gonna go with the circles that are actually in the poem. So the things in the inferno that we knew we couldn't change, I mean definitely the rings of hell, and also like the major characters. Of course each piece we sort of interpret a little bit differently. The character that you play in the game is the reimagination of the original Dante, and he's fighting for love. The Lucifer has taken his love, Beatrice, into hell, and he actually fights death, and he actually defeats death and takes death's sight, and he says, you know, I'm going to take this thing, I'm going to go into hell, I'm going to get her. facing some of the most insane monsters that hell has to throw at him. He's got to be kind of an over-the-top action hero. Everything you do in this game is brutal. It involves eviscerating, ripping open. It's definitely a brutal game. It's not for the faint of heart. We have enemies that push the limits of taste. You kind of be like, oh, oh, dude, you see that? I want that, I want that moment, and we're working our butts off to deliver that. The first thing you hear when you when you come into Limbo for the first time is screaming. Right away, he sees like shades falling, screaming, you know, ah, as they fall in, they're screaming, and you know, from moment one, you know you're in hell. People are being vomited into hell. Masses of people huddled together, naked and scared, cold and huddled, oh, the humanity. And then Big Minos is gonna judge you at the end. It's bad, like, it only gets worse from there, you know, it's all downhill from there. It's gonna get much, much crazier as you, as you descend. It's just gonna get really dark very quickly. Once you pass Minos, this is hell proper. Here we go. 